at the second quarter beginning. Central Vincent Pilate, the Panthers have the ball there in the blue. They're down by nine. Trying to get back in this one. Jumper. Hands the three. Hands that one. And how bad they needed that. And the ball was almost turned over by Gilman. But he was able to keep it. Levin has it. 12. Oh, wide open. Wide open. Misses the wide open three. Here comes Seth Pesvalade. They can cut this lead within four if they can. He's coming up to shoot a pair. Shot with Seth Pesvalade might have gave them some energy. McBride with his, with his third. Seth Pesvalade has foul team fouls. Missed free throw and Gilman has three. That was only their third of the of the half. Second shot. It's good. 18 to 13. Five point game now. St. Francis Velotti has woken up after the slow start. Two has it after the kick over from Cypress Jones, number five, back over to 11, back over to two. Inside to Ripken, number 35. Ripken kicks it back in. It will not drop. Similar problem that St. Francis Velotti had on this end. Gilman's having on a heaven at 32. Gets the lay in. Oh, baby. We got a game again, baby. Oh, game 18 to 15. Ripken. Ripken inside and one. The force. It was used right there. Championship games like this, when the, you want the big men to get it done, they got to get it done. Man. You're seeing the stars right now in this one. Ripken nails the three point play. 21 15. Scott's back in. For St. Vincent Pilate. So they are rotating almost 10 deep, and that's a good thing, especially in high school basketball. 24 has kicks it out wide open three. Oh, yeah. Wide open shot nailed it. Flip has it. He dropped the two. Here comes Jones. Jones pulls up, and he misses. It's an offensive foul. The bad Pilate, the closest defense at the beginning. Down by three. Second foul on the team fourth. The bad Pilate with a three can top. Long distance two. Nails that one two. Pilate can't miss in the second quarter. And a timeout by Gilman and Weissman. Tempest Milani was down at one point. Down by 13. They've cut it to one. 6-10 here in the first half. So far, Ripken leading all scores with 11. It's here in the B Conference Finals. It's been as advertised so far. It's almost been a tale of two games and one, and we've not even gotten out the first half as of yet. Robert Jones, number five, is going to inbound the ball. Right in front of us here. Right in front of the media tables. And we actually number one inbound it. Over the two, back over the five. Total 33 now. He's gone. Ball slipped away. Pilate can take the lead with any kind of a bucket. Long distance two. Missed it. Rebound. Got the roll. Gilman is for the first time today. Down by a point. Here comes Cypress Jones. Jones back over to Ripken. Ripken kicks it. Over to Ripken again. One on one. You cannot beat him one on one. And he nailed it. 23 to 22. Here comes number 21. He tried to take it all the way. He does. He does take it all the way to the basket. And 
all of a sudden we are just changing leads now. St. Spencer Bellotti back up by one. Here comes Kelman. Number one has it for good. Back over to 33. Back over to two. Two back over to Cypress Jones, number five. Let's see what he could do. Jones. Hey, offensive foul. A substitution. St. Francis Pilates, the two seed. I'm saying this game, the underdog for a second. Huh? We thought it was offensive foul, but no, it's, a, it's against St. Francis Pilates, so Gilman's going to keep the possession. Levin has it. Back over to Ripken, 35. Ripken. Ripken scores again. Ripken with 15 now. And with almost the second quarter halfway gone, we have a change to lead again. Gilman back up by one. Inside the gap. No, that one rolls around. Here comes Gilman. Back over to one. He almost was not able to keep it in bounds. Jones, he travels. And the ball back to St. Vessel Velati again. Defensive Pilati with 4.30 left in the first half. Trying to retake the lead again. Allen 24 has it. Back over to 14. Kicks it out. 22. He turns over the ball. Here comes Gilman. Bannon says, the ball pressure, good movement though of the ball. One. Oh! A foul against Gilman offensively. The team's fifth. Maybe this has been a good one. Oh, the cut. Five. Oh, the tip. No. And it's out of bounds going to Gilman. Levin's going to inbound it for Gilman with 3.54 left in this first half. Gilman trying to settle things down here. The big lead they have has almost been evaporated. That one is an offensive foul against Gilman. Trying to retake the lead again. The ball stripped away. And he was stripped from behind accidentally. And it will mean they wanted one chance now for Gilman. One and one coming up for McBride. She's the first, misses it. A rebound by St. Pensabellati. Keep the lead to one. I go 32 on the corner. I don't like that was five there. I should see number 32. Over to 21. 317 left in this first half. Pick City. Jones lays it in. Three point lead again for him. 24 has it. Back over. 21. Wide open three. Tipped and missed. Jump ball. I think St. Prince Velotti will still retain possession. Pounds and grinds and it spins out for him. A bound off the glass note. In a great position now for number 25. I'll get it. He's going to try and rip it. Number 35. 
Try to take it to the basket inside. What a pass. And to spin it in. Five point game again for Gilman. Gilman settled down their offense. Defensive Velotti's turn. They got to get something going. Had briefly a one point lead at a couple of occasions here in the second. Three point shot. In and out. A huge offensive rebound. Defensive Velotti. Try to get it inside. Lay. No, missed the lay in. Rebound. Missed it. Coming to shoot two. Two straight misses. That's all ball number 25, Matt Tilly. That's his first team set up. It's a line with line number 14, Marcus Scott. Scott, two. Scott with a pair. He's about to shoot. First shot. Got it. Scott with the second shot, in and out. Wow. Here comes Gilman. They got the four point lead. 29 25. What well, up the court? Missed it. Had a wide open man on the other end, he didn't see. Here comes the St. Festival line. Coach Johnson, the shot no. That's all trying to take it in three men's faces. Ripken kicks it back over to Jones. Jones has it. Inside, out of bounds. It's going to St. Vincent Pilate. With 91 seconds left in the first half. Here the game for Pilate number three, Marcus Wright. Kicks it back over. Over to 24. Back over to three. No, he tried to get the shot over. It didn't go. Here comes Gilman. Jones with the ball handling skills. He had the number. Oh, back behind the back and hit there by Ripken. 31-25. A nice dish and assist. Jones to Ripken. Sent it in. Back over to five. A reach-in foul. Yeah, I believe we'll put St. Francis Velotti at the free throw line. Five seconds left. It's the first shot. Second shot. Nails that one too. Ripken back over to number five, Jones. Whoa, wide open. Oh, it's lonesome. Almost traveled there. Ripken. Ripken. It's foul. 44.6 left. Ripken with 17 already in the first half. Misses the first. A little unkind to him though. Second shot. Misses that one as well. Defense Velotti was not hurt by the foul. Now number 24 had to kick it back over to 21. 34 seconds and counting here in the first half. Those 24. Had a hole. Missed it. Rebound. Got it in. Foul puts it home. Cuts the lead to two. As we're down to 13 seconds left. Jones wings it. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Jones gets past him. Close to shove off the glass and in. Three, two, one. Almost. Very close. The 
end of the first half, though. Tim Fensifalati was looking kind of out of this one. They was able to come back in that halftime. They're up 33-29. We're breaking the third quarter after this here on the Dodge Sporting Network. 